In this video, I will show you how to create your own YouTube channel and how to upload your first video. Let's get started. I think just about every teacher needs to have their own YouTube channel to create and share great content with their students, their parents, and with the world. But how would you go about setting up a YouTube channel? Well, just go to youtube.com. I assume you already have an account. If you don't, then sign in with your Google account. Google owns YouTube, so you should be able to just sign in. If you don't have a Google account, you can sign up for one of those. But here at youtube.com, all you have to do is click this create button in the upper right corner and choose upload video. Now, if your account isn't associated with a YouTube channel yet, you'll need to establish that channel. So by default, it wants to name my channel after my name. So I'm just going to delete that out and I'll title my channel National Parks Extravaganza and then I'll click create channel. Now notice I could have opted to upload a picture as well and it's not too late to do that. I can click here on this N and it takes me to YouTube studio and here I can change the photo that's associated with my account. For now I'll just upload this smiley face but I can change that image at any time. Eventually, I'll want to upload a banner image and also a video watermark to go on my videos. After making these changes, I'm going to click Publish. And now my channel has an image and it has a name. I can click View Channel to see what the public will see when they come to my YouTube channel. Okay. So far, there are no videos for the public to watch. Let's fix that. So here at the top right, I have a Create button. I'll click it and I'll click Upload Video. Now recently I went to Yellowstone National Park and recorded some good videos. I then transferred those videos to my computer. If there's a lot of interest in this, I'd be happy to make a tutorial on how to easily transfer your videos from a mobile phone or a tablet and transfer them to a desktop or laptop computer. If you're interested, let me know in the description below the video. But here I can just click and drag and drop a video from the desktop of my computer or from a file folder on my computer just drop it here and it will start uploading. For me, it's easier just to click select files and then navigate my computer to the right folder where the video is stored. This is the video I want. I'll click open and that video is now being uploaded to my YouTube channel. Now at this point, no one can see the video. It's just being uploaded into YouTube system. While it's uploading, I don't have to sit and wait several seconds or minutes for it to upload. Instead, I can start working on the details of my video. First is a title. I'll just call this Yellowstone National Park Video 1. Next, I need to put in a description. Notice that I do have a character limit for this description. I can put in links here, so that's nice. Just copy paste any hyperlink in there and it should work. Eventually, I'll be able to add a thumbnail, but it often takes a few seconds for those to appear. Looks like they've now appeared and I can click any of these three suggested images and make that image the thumbnail for my video. Now, if I'm not happy with any of these three suggested thumbnails, that's okay. I can create my own thumbnail, maybe in Canva or in Google Drawings or Photoshop, whatever I want to use to create the thumbnail. And then I can just click upload thumbnail choose the thumbnail that's on my computer and upload it. Next, if I want this video to be part of a playlist, I can do that. Right now I don't have any playlists, so I could create a new playlist. I can decide whether the playlist is public or unlisted or even private. I'll just leave it public and click create. Now that it's created, I can check the box to add this video to the playlist. Next, I'll scroll down and I need to make a decision about the audience for this video. Is this video made primarily for kids? If it is, I need to mark yes, and that will limit any advertising that I might be able to do for this video. Now, when you're first starting out on YouTube, there's very few options for advertising, so maybe it doesn't matter. But in my case, this video isn't made specifically for kids, so I'll just say no. If you want some advanced options, you can click show more and there's a bunch of different things you can add. For example, the language of the video. If you want to put in the video location, you can do that. And a lot of people also like to add tags. In theory, the tags will help people to find your video. So I'll just put in Yellowstone and maybe I'll put in a misspelling of Yellowstone. So if someone accidentally types the wrong word, it still might suggest my video to them. 
So you can put in three or four or more tags to help people find your videos if you want to. And some of these advanced features can be set on the account level. So if you go into your settings here at the left, you can make some of these settings be your defaults so that when you upload a new video, you don't have to always go through each of these steps every time. Some of these things you do have to set every time, but check out the settings and see what you can do to automate part of this process. Next, if I want to, I can add video elements. I could add subtitles. I could add an end screen to advertise another of my videos. And I can also add cards with messages for the viewers. So for example, I want to suggest that people go to my Western USA playlist and watch the entire playlist. Of course, this is the only video so far, but I'll just give this a name. Looks like it's too long, so I have to shorten it. And then I need to decide where will that card appear? At the beginning of the video, toward the end, where do I want it to be seen? So I'll choose toward the end, click save, and then I'll click next. At this point, YouTube is going to do a preliminary copyright check to see if you've used other people's copyrighted content. It looks like it didn't find any problems with that. I'll click next. And at this point, I just need to decide what's the visibility of this video. Do I want it to be private? It's only for me to watch and others that I specifically add to the video. Do I want it to be unlisted? This is a great option. If you create videos that are unlisted, only people that have the link will be able to watch your video. So this is great for sharing video with a group, maybe parents or faculty at a school. As long as they have the link, they'll be able to watch the video, but it won't be completely public for anyone on the internet. And the third option is public, completely public. Now, of course, regardless of which option you choose, you need to be careful about student privacy, making sure that you're following applicable laws and rules at your school and district. One really great option that YouTube has is you can schedule your videos in advance. So I could upload this video today, but schedule it to become public, let's say, in a couple of months. I can also set the time for it to become public. I'll go ahead and click Schedule. And now, in a couple of months, when the time is right and the day is right, this video will be published and people will be able to watch the fantastic video. I can now click Close. And here at the left, at any point, I can click Content and it will list all the videos that I have uploaded, published, or scheduled to be published. When I'm ready to add another video, I just go back here to Create and click and then click Upload Videos and go through the same process again. YouTube has excellent analytics and other features to help you get a sense of your videos and your channel and how they're performing. And you can explore those here at the left. Analytics here is where you'll find some of the best features. And then once again, you should check out settings. And that's where you can set channel info, advanced settings, and your upload defaults that I mentioned earlier. Changing these will save you lots of time and effort. So I hope that you found this video to be helpful and that you'll consider starting your own YouTube channel and sharing the information that you have and care about. If this video proves to be popular, I'd like to make a second video showing how to use some of the advanced analytics and other features here in YouTube Studio. Thanks for watching. I hope you found the tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, consider clicking the Thanks button or supporting me on Patreon or buying channel merch. And you'll see links for those options below this video.